I decided to make this video to share with you what transpired when a couple weeks ago, my Google account was hijacked or hacked or spammed or whatever you wanna call it. And more importantly, how I got my account back. And I get it guys, somebody else right now seems to have commandeered your account, you're freaking out, you're trying to find a solution, your heart rate is going through the roof. But let me tell you something, a little assurance. I'm gonna show you one thing, one simple thing you can do to get your account back just like it did for me. So if you're interested, let's start with how it all started. So let me backtrack a little bit to give you a brief history of what happened on my end. And who knows, we might have similar situations. It started out with an email, of course, on August 23rd that looked awfully legit, like sent from YouTube legit, guys. And by the way, I was checking this email on this very same Windows laptop on Chrome for what it's worth. The email looked exactly like any other YouTube email with the proper sender address, the template, the header, the graphics. It had it all, just like what I've received in the past from the proper YouTube. The title of the email was called YouTube Copyright Infringement Report 2022. And at the bottom, it had an attachment, a really large XML file, about 500 megabytes. And usually I have a good feel for these kind of things because like up until this point, I haven't had any part of my digital footprint compromised like since I started using the internet. So yeah, this is where I should have listened to my spider senses, you should too. There were all sorts of bells ringing, but this time I didn't listen. And I opened the file in Google Drive or tried to anyway, because Google Drive pulled up a file too large to open message. And so I basically gave up on it at this point. But little did I know, this attachment was already working in the background. The first sign that something was wrong was when I received an email notification like 30 seconds later that my Google account password had been updated. I didn't do that. Then another one came like immediately right after that that my authentication code was changed. I didn't do that either. And another notification that I had changed my account email address. Nuh-uh, I didn't do that either. And I was like, oh crap. So immediately I decided to see if I could change everything back in Google settings. And this is what I saw. That email address at the top, that's definitely not mine. That was actually the new email address, the imposter's email address that I got the change notification for. This strange email was the sign that things were serious here, guys, because once your account email is changed, it basically means you can't get into it to do squat, nothing. In my case, I couldn't for the life of me convince Google that there was an imposter, likely a bot in this case, holding my account hostage and that I was the OG. I tried creating a new password, verifying my cell number again, etc., etc. But again, what tied all these things together was my original email address. And now it was gone. Dread started to really sink in at this point. I launched Gmail, booted out for safety reasons. I tried Google Photos, obviously didn't work. Calendar for some strange reason was still cached. And for me, and probably you as well, as a content creator, YouTube is my bread and butter. So I checked it and guess what? My entire channel was gone or more effectively taken over by this ARK Invest Elon Musk. If you Google it though, there are apparently a buttload of these hijacked accounts with a similar name at any given time on YouTube, which is really sad. My version had one single uploaded video, which interestingly and enviously had way more views than most of my videos, the nerve. Now, that being said, to have all of that gone, to have that all disappear, all that work that I put into building this channel with hundreds of videos felt like a punch in the gut. Like I was just fired from my job, told to pack up my stuff and never come back again. I felt hopeless, guys, for the first couple of hours. I really thought it was over because partly I knew that Google doesn't have any live customer support service on their website available. So reporting this would pretty much be nigh impossible, let alone recovering my account. But then I remembered from somewhere that if you need to reach an actual live person to recover your YouTube channel for whatever reason, or in essence, your Google account, Google has an active presence on Twitter. Yeah, who would have thunk, right? So I tweeted a quick post on the afternoon of the 23rd, describing briefly what had happened and that I needed help ASAP. I tagged Team YouTube and Made by Google. Within 45 minutes, I got a response from Team YouTube and Google themselves. And I'll tell you what, these were not like bots or auto replies. These were from actual real people as far as I could tell. And then Team YouTube sent me their first DM at 4 p.m. asking for my channel URL so they could check things out and verify. And I shared that and told them about the new Elon Musk channel. 
Eight minutes later, they asked me for an alternative email to have their specialist team contact me at. And then they send me this support form to complete. And by the way, before I go on, this goes without saying, during this entire process, I kept my words and communication on DM and later on email as respectful, as professional and detailed as possible. I know it's a stressful time guys, but having a level head really helps if you want to receive the best support, at least in this situation. Now, some advice about the form. It requires a lot of information about your account and channel, like when it was created, what was the last video you uploaded, the channel ID, your AdSense ID number. So pro tip guys, it is helpful to save all this info somewhere safe right now. Since I was an idiot and didn't do any of that, Google actually was kind enough to help me obtain some of that info by giving me hints along the way. I think this support form was to basically verify if you're really the person you say you actually are. So I completed the form before I went to bed and I thought it's gonna be a while before I see any kind of progression for this case. I've heard from three to five to seven business days. I was very surprised therefore that while I was sleeping, YouTube's partner support sent me this email a few hours later at 3.54 a.m. confirming that my account and channel was indeed hijacked. They disabled the hijacker's access to my Google account by freezing it, but in order for me to have full control again, I had to access the standard account recovery page. That didn't work for me, so I used their alternative special account recovery page, and that worked like a charm. And man, you have no idea how much weight was taken off my shoulders when I finally saw that I had access to my email, my photos, my drive, and so on. And it also revealed how reliant I've become of the Google ecosystem and also how intertwined they all are. But now, the big part was my gear up channel. So I checked it and it showed that it was blocked for violating usage terms. Hmm, I wonder why. So obviously the battle was not completely over just yet. I emailed the support team once again and waited. And once more, I didn't have to wait as long as I thought. 24 hours later, the channel was completely back up and running. The only house cleaning items they had to do was to reset or re-upload the channel branding elements like your logo and the header banner and all that because those were all gone and removed by the previous you know, hijacker and also set the videos from all my videos to private to public access again. And as a side note, thank goodness for the select all function. So ultimately, I hope this video helped steer you in the right direction to recovering your YouTube slash Google account. So all the best to you, but if you have anything you wanna ask, comment down below and I'll try my best to answer you. But a few takeaways that I learned from this ordeal. First of all, breathe guys, take a deep breath, take it easy, take it one step at a time, don't rush it. Secondly, be kind and respectful because yes, you have every right to freak out and vent, but as far as I know, it was mostly real humans that helped me out. So treat them nice and they'll treat you likewise. Thirdly, um, I think it's pretty much a guarantee that your account can be salvaged, especially once you receive that acknowledgement email from the support team. Once they've verified the compromised email, you can pretty much leave it up to them to work their magic because come on guys, this is Google after all. They've likely stored images of your account somewhere any, at any given time somewhere in the world, right? In one of their servers. Fourthly, don't open suspicious attachments. Yes, I speak from experience. I consider myself very vigilant. Like I never had any issues with digital break-ins, but even vigilance can have a day off as this example tells you. So try to be safe. And sorry about all the noises out there. There's a lot of construction going on. Fifthly, I thought uh, getting help would take forever, but from start to finish, from losing my account to regaining access, took just a little over one and a half days. That's it. And my channel, this channel you're watching right now, took a little over a day on top of that, which means in all, Google had me back on my feet in three days. That's pretty darn awesome. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. A major shout out to the Google and YouTube teams for coming to my rescue. You guys run an awesome operation, I'll tell you what. And for those of you who've been my followers on my channel, you guys who are having my backs the whole time my channel was you know, hijacked, uh, remember to subscribe if you like more videos like this, get me to 50,000 subs. If you have any kind of spare change to help me financially support this channel, there's Patreon right here and the super thanks button down below. Remember to thumbs up if you like this video, comment nicely down below, and thumbs down. Hmm, thumbs down to premature loss of life. So my fellow YouTuber, El Jefe, if you haven't heard, lost his wife Paloma a few days ago. It was really sad news. She was only 39. 
Uh, he's a really stand-up guy, stand up guy, guys. And if you aren't already a follower, find him on Twitter or YouTube and drop him a word of encouragement. So peace to you, Jeffrey. I hope uh, you find the love and support that you need. I, and I usually ask you guys to, and I end the videos by asking you to do something loving and kind for somebody. Well, how about drop El Jefe a line? Let's all get in on this. I'm linking his GoFundMe page as well to help cover for funeral costs down below. Anyway, I love y'all. See you the next time. Peace out and don't go opening suspicious attachments. <laughs>